Hi guys, so let's talk about multidimensional DP today. So this question has occurred in Tau C++ developer hiring challenge, which I held four years back on Jan 12, 2018. So let's see what the question asks. So the question is that you are given two strings SP and two integers K1, K2. You have to find the length of the longest common subsequence after performing at most K1 operations on string S and at most K2 operations on string P. In one operation, you can change the character of the string to any alphabet. These are the input and output formats and constraints are that length of string S and P will be less than equal to 500 and K1 and K2 will be less than equal to 10. Now one test case is also given here where string S is ABCD, string P is DBCA, K1 is 1 and K2 is 0. So you can see here that uh, like K1 is 1 so we can only do one replacement in string S and we cannot do any replacement in string P because K2 is 0. So uh, the LCS which we can obtain is that we can replace this A with D and the longest common subsequence which we will get will be DBC and its length will be 3 and the output is 3. You could have also replaced this D with A and again the LCS would have been BCA whose length is 3. So before jumping into the deeping solution of it, let's see uh, whether we can solve this question with greedy approach or not. Okay. So let's take an example like S is A, B, C, D, E, P is B, C, D, X and K1 and K2 are 1 and 0 respectively. Okay. So one greedy approach which you can think is that uh, since we can do at most K1 plus K2 replacements only in total. So you can think that you can start iterating on both S and P and the moment you encounter any at any particular position, if the characters are different in both S and P, you can, you know, make them same. Like in this case, I started iterating from the beginning of the string. I see that A and B are different. So I replace this A with B and then my K1 will become zero because I cannot do any more operations on it. Like only one replacement is allowed on string S. So with this, you can see that the LCS which you will get is this B, C, D, right? And this B, C, D. So its length is three only or LCS is this as well. This, uh, this BCD and again this BCD but uh, you could have also replaced this E with X and in that case you could have got a longest common subsequence BCDX whose length is 4 okay so this thing proves that the greedy algorithm will not work so let's see how we can solve it using DP okay uh, so before jumping into the DP let's try to build a recursive solution for it so uh, let me define a function LCS IJ K1 K2 SP so this LCS IJ is denoting uh, the longest common subsequence with the given constraints in the question between two strings and the two strings are like one of the string is from the ith character of S to the last character of S. This SL is denoting length of S and the second string is from the jth character of P to the last character of P. Okay. So what we are actually trying to compute is LCS 0 comma 0 uh, K1 K2. SP. If we compute this, then this would be the answer because what would this be? This would be the length, uh, longest common subsequence between two strings with the given constraint in questions. And those two strings will be like from S0 to last character of str string S and from P0 to last character of P, like the whole string S and P. So let's see how we can compute this recursively. So uh, let's take an example where S is AXYT and P is AZM. So there are only two possibilities. Uh, whenever we are at considering any i th and j th character in s and p in this case i am taking i and j both as 0 0 for simplicity but i and j can assume any values okay so either the character at s i and p j will be same or they will be different like there are only these two possibilities so let's see what would happen in these two possibilities so if you see here this i am considering this i is 0 and j is 0 so both a and a are same so it's guaranteed that lcs will be of length at least one but what other things will be in the LCS or you know what more length will be in the LCS. So its length will be 1 plus whatever we obtain the LCS between these leftover strings. Okay. So 1 plus this red part. So this can be written in uh, coding format like this that if uh, SI is equal to is equal to PJ we can say that or we can basically return 1 plus LCS I plus 1 j plus 1 and k1 k2 will be same because we have not done any replacement on either string s or either string p right so this is one of the things now let's see what would happen if the ith and jth character are different like in this case uh, this a and m are different right so let's see how we will compute lcs in this case so uh, let me just remove this thing okay so our string are A, X, Y, Z, T, M, N, W, F, right? So this is what. Yeah. 
या ए एक्स वाई जी टी एंड एम एन डब्ल्यू एफ so in this case we have a lot of possibilities like one of them is that we can choose to ignore this particular ith character in s and look at the leftover string so leftover strings would be this this much of s and this much of p so we can check the lcs among this part so this can be uh, written as what this is lcs of i plus 1 j again k1 k2 will be same because we have not done replacement any replacement another possibility is that what we could see here is that we can choose to replace this uh, jth character of p and look at the leftover strings so this much compute the lcs among this much part of string so this can be written as lcs of i j plus 1 k1 k2 s and p and another possibility is that what we can do is that we can try to do some replacement so we can do we can basically uh, replace this a with m so this will reduce our problem to the first scenario where both i and j are equal right so these are equal so our length lcs would be 1 plus whatever the lcs we obtain from the leftover string so this much okay so this can be written as what this is 1 plus lcs of i plus 1 and j plus 1 k1 minus 1 because we have done one replacement on string s and k2 will be same because we haven't done any replacement on string p now what is the other possibility other possibility is that you could do the same with string p that is you could replace this m with a so and check over the leftover string that is this again 1 plus whatever the lcs you obtain among the leftover leftover string so that can be written as what 1 plus lcs of i plus 1 j plus 1 k1 will be same because we have not done replacement on string l p and k2 minus 1 s and p so these are the only four possibilities so what you do is that you return maximum of all of this right so this way we have built the recursive solution for our uh, basically we have built a recursive solution for the question and one thing to note here is that you can do this k1 minus 1 and k2 minus 1 only when k1 and k2 or k2 is greater than 0 okay so one thing to note here is this so in simple terms your recursive code looks like this that if the ith and jth character are equal then you return 1 plus lcs of i plus 1 j plus 1 k1 k2 sp else you return the maximum of these four okay so this much is your solution now let's see how we can convert this recursive solution into dynamic programming so again that is pretty easy to do because the only four things or the four states which we need to remember which will determine our unique state the four parameters which will de determine our unique state are this i j k1 and k2 so we will build a four dimensional dp okay so if you see here i have built a dp of a four dimensional array and its dimensions are n into m into k1 into k2 where n is the length of string s p is the length of string p oh sorry m is the length of string p like the maximum length they can assume are 500 only hence this is 501 501 and k1 k2 maximum values are 10 okay so in this int main i am basically accepting the input string s p k1 k2 and i have initialized my dp array as minus 1 and i compute this quantity lcs of 0 0 k1 k2 sp that is ij k1 k2 sp so i come here so uh, this is the base case that if we have exhausted any string we return zero that is if we are if i is uh, like if we have reached the string of s if we have reached the end of string s or if we have reached the end of string p we return zero otherwise we check if we have already computed this state in our dp array by checking if dp i j k1 k2 is not equal to minus 1 we return this otherwise uh, i am doing that only that if answer if si is equal to equal to pj we come store answer as 1 plus lc 1 plus lcs of i plus 1 j plus 1 k1 k2 sp or the maximum of these four right which i had already seen like this has this i have written in a bit modified way so it's easy to understand and before doing any replacement on string s i am checking if this k1 is greater than 0 or not similarly before doing any replacement on string p i am checking if k2 is greater than 0 or not and eventually 
I store the maximum of these four quantities and before returning the answer, I am memoizing that answer in this DP array. So uh, this way we very easily converted our recursive solution into dynamic programming. And if you'll see here like this solution I had already submitted and it, it has already passed all the test cases. So I'm not going to go into that. What I want to talk about here is that if you uh, see the, yeah, sorry, if you see the editorial here as well, so we'll see that the author has also given the same solution. Like uh, if you see, he has also built a four dimensional DP and uh, eventually he has also done the same thing which I am doing, right? And also another solution given by editorialist is Esther solution, sorry, is also doing the same thing. Build a 4D DP and do all this, okay? But the thing to note here is that we can also solve in it in a with a three dimensional array. Like uh, what we can do is that we can do some space optimization here. This, if you see here, the space complexity of this solution is order of n into m into k1 into k2, right? Where n and n and m are uh, the length of string s and p. But what we can do here is that we can obtain an op we can do it in optimized space where the space complexity will be this much only n into m into k1 plus k2 so this solution will be much more optimized and i'll see how you can do that what you do here is that uh, you replace this with about 21 you build a 3d dp only the max value of k1 plus k2 can be 20 only hence i have made this 21 okay and uh, instead of checking this dp ij k1 k2 you check for k1 plus k2 like the unique state is de being determined by ij and the sum of k1 plus k2 okay and we replace this with this and here as well yeah i think let's compile it and see what happens Mm, compilation error it's giving because of okay this yeah so this passed the sample test case now let's submit it so anyways this will pass all the test cases and the you see here that it got accepted so like we have a again built a way better solution than what has what the author and tester had given and another thing to note here is that this can also be done in a 2d dp with a two dimensional array only but yeah the thing is that why did this work why uh, replacing you know how k1 plus k2 is able to determine a unique state and the reason behind that is that if you try to you know uh, annotate some possibilities you will see here that like let's take this case only where k1 was 1 and k2 was 0 we got the lcs as 4 length of lcs is 4 but if i reverse k1 and k2 that is i make k1 0 and k2 1 you will observe that you will get the same answer here as well okay so that is why it like we could get the same answer for k1 k2 and k2 k1 okay and and the reason behind that is that you can eventually do only at most k1 plus k2 operation and hence k1 plus k2 is able to determine a unique state so that is the reason why we can do some optimization on the space complexity part and apart from that another thing is that if uh, i submitted this thing four years back and if you'll see i had uh, yeah this should be the solution so we could also do it in even like we can do more optimization on the space complexity part we can do it only in only a two with a 2d dp array anyways i think i'm not able to be my solution due to some reason but as a homework you should try to do it with a 2d dp and check if you can you know do it in with a, in a space complexity of order n of of order n into m only where n and m are the length of string s and p respectively so anyways thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video i'll see you all next time